Welcome back, welcome back, little guys. Glad you all could come back. Today we're on Psalm 37. And um, I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you, because it is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. Give him the praise. Tell him thank you. Tell your loved ones that you love them, okay? And I love you all with the love of the Lord. Father God loves you more. We're going to say a prayer for the little guys, and then we'll begin our reading. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father God, for our love, that you love us, Lord God, that you teach us how to love, that you teach us to love one another, to love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, to love our neighbor as ourselves, and to treat others the way we want to be treated. We have to be good little boys and girls and be obedient to our parents. And Lord, we thank you because you protect us and you provide for us. We thank you for everything, Father. Father God, we say thank you. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Couldn't have said it any better. Hallelujah. Psalm 37. We are on Psalm 37 today. Trust the Lord. Don't be annoyed by anyone who does wrong. And don't envy them. They will soon disappear like grass without rain. Trust the Lord and live right. The land will be yours, and you will be safe. Do what the Lord wants, and he will give you your heart's desire. Let the Lord lead you and trust him to help. Then it will be as clear as the noonday sun that you were right. Be patient and trust the Lord. Don't let it bother you when all goes well for those who do sinful things. Don't be angry or furious. Anger can lead to sin. All sinners will disappear. But if you trust the Lord, the land will be yours. Sinners will soon disappear, never to be found. But the poor will take the land and enjoy a big harvest. Merciless people make plots against good people and snarl like animals. But the Lord laughs and knows their time is coming soon. The wicked kill with swords and shoot arrows to murder the poor and the needy and all who do right. But they will be killed by their own swords, and their arrows will be broken. It is better to live right and be poor than to be simple and rich. The wicked will lose all of their power, but the Lord gives strength to everyone who is good. Those who obey the Lord are daily in his care, and what he has given them will be theirs forever. They won't be in trouble when times are bad, and they will have plenty when food is scarce. Wicked People are enemies of the Lord and will vanish like smoke from a field on fire. An evil person borrows and never pays again or pays back. A good person is generous and never stops giving. Everyone the Lord blesses will receive the land. Everyone the Lord curses will be destroyed. If you do what the Lord wants, he will make certain each step you take is sure. The Lord will hold your hand, and if you stumble, you still won't fall. As long as I can remember, good people have never been left helpless, and their children have never gone begging for food. They gladly give and lend, and their children turn out good. If you stop sinning and start doing right, you will keep living and be secure forever. The Lord loves justice, and he won't ever desert his faithful people. He always protects them, but destroys the children of the wicked. God's people will own the land and live here forever. Words of wisdom come when good people speak for justice. They remember God's teachings and they never take a wrong step. The wicked try to trap and kill good people, but the Lord is on their side and he will defend them when they are on trial. Trust the Lord and follow him. He will give you the land, and you will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen brutal people abuse others and straw and grow strong like trees in rich soil. Suddenly they disappeared. I looked, but they were gone and no longer there. Think of the bright future waiting for all the families of honest and innocent and peace-loving people. But not a trace will be left of the wicked or their families. The Lord protects his people and they can come to him in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and saves them from the wicked because they run to him. Amen. 
God's Will and Tomorrow on Psalm 38, A Prayer in Times of Trouble. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of the day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. And, tell, and please tell anybody that you have a problem with, that, you know, tell them you're sorry. If you, if you owe somebody an apology, tell them you're sorry. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And that's with respect and love. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Treat everybody with respect. Treat them the way you want to be treated. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, we love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.